Hello, my name is Chuck Williams, and I am a Diamond Global Power Distributor with the Shopping Sherlock. It's my absolute privilege today to present to you uh, with three pastors how the Shopping Sherlock is being used by pastors around the United States and eventually around the world, and how possibly you might be able to use it for your church, your ministry, or your organization. I want to first of all introduce our three guests today. Uh, we'll start with Pastor Marlon Baylor. Uh, he's the uh, handsome gentleman you see on the left in the profile picture of your screen. And so, Pastor Baylor, if you wouldn't mind just starting a little bit about your pastor uh, background, a little bit about your church. Uh, I know how you pastors can get, so I'm going to try to keep you guys brief today. But just a little bio about yourself, please, sir. Okay, this is Pastor Marlon Baylor. The name of the church is Faith Miracle Temple in St. Louis, Missouri. We have approximately 1,500 members. Uh, I've actually been the pastor for about now two years next month. But I was an assistant pastor for about 20 years. My brother's the senior pastor, and now uh, he's been elevated to the bishopry, so I do the daily, day-to-day -day operations for our church. Thank you very much. We're going to go now to uh, Dr. Rosario Slack in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Dr. Slack, would you briefly introduce yourself, please? Yes, I'm Dr. Rosario Slack. I'm the pastor of Temple of Faith Deliverance Church of God in Christ. I've been pastoring there about 12 years now, and I'm a bivocational pastor. I also do motivational speaking, and I'm a trainer, consultant, and speaker. I do um, a lot of speaking on family issues, marriage, fatherhood. All right. Thank you, Dr. Slack. Now we're going to move over, and uh, Pastor Mark Levesque here in St. Louis. Pastor Mark, would you introduce yourself, please? Thank you, Chuck. I'm happy to. Uh, I began uh, public ministry in 1985, and I uh, helped plant a church in the Chicago area in the early 90s. And uh, I've been the uh, pastor, a pastor at Discovery Church for six years. Uh, I recently uh, resigned from that pastorship uh, to help other uh, ministries and nonprofits uh, raise uh, income for their ministry. Uh, to help uh, reach uh, further out than I can with one church. Thank you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, these three men have all personally become personal friends of mine. Uh, again, my name is Chuck Williams. I'm a Diamond Global Power Distributor. I also am involved in ministry, a uh, ministry called Ministry to Men here in St. Charles County, where I am the current president of the board of that ministry. So guys, I want to ask each one of you individually, uh, again, just briefly, uh, ask you why you became a distributor of the Sherlock. And we'll go in reverse order, so... Uh, Pastor Mark Levesque, if you would like to start there, why why did you get started with this incredible opportunity here? Sure. I, I For most of my career as a pastor, I've been um, involved both in business and in ministry. Um, back in 2007, I took a full-time role at Discovery Church in St. Peter's, Missouri. Uh, since my income from my corporate job had dropped to about a third of what it had been uh, previous to my full-time role as a pastor, I was very open to the Shopping Sherlock technology when I was first exposed to it by Chuck Williams. And I began to, uh, to use it to save money and to make money on the Internet. I would tell people that uh, what I do, uh, aside from my pastorship, is uh, I, I save money online and I make money online and I help other people do the same. At first I told Chuck that I could only do about an hour a day because of my schedule, which I did. I was pretty diligent about following through with that. But in about six to nine months, uh, the income coming from the shopping Sherlock technology uh, had replaced my income at the church. So the church actually no longer had to pay my salary, which at the time in the recession that we were entering was very helpful for the church because it actually created a financial stability of the church and uh, it actually moved the church from being in the red into the black. And so uh, we uh, continued to uh, work with the shopping Sherlock concept and helped it expand. And actually, eventually, uh, within a year, I was able to replace my income that I had left in corporate America. So it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, tool. It's a great concept. And I, I'm fully behind it. Thank you, Mark. We'll be hearing more from Mark in just a minute. But let's go to Chattanooga, Tennessee for Dr. Slack. Uh, Dr. Slack, same question. Why did you become a shopping Sherlock distributor? Well, I have um, messed around with several companies and never really made any money. Um, I, just, I, I guess I'm just fascinated with the whole network marketing concept, which I saw way back probably 30 years ago, 
and never really saw the product that I really thought would take me to the level that I really wanted to go to. And um, when I was introduced to the shop in Sherlock by Chuck, I actually, he, you told me, Chuck, Mark Levesque's story about how he was giving basically, basically not taking an income from the church. And that fascinated me. And, you know, so because I'm, I'm an inner city pastor and my church, you know, we're not struggling, but we're not thriving financially the way that we had previously because of, you know, several layoffs in the economy and different things like that. So it was, to me, just a good opportunity to be a better steward of my, my time and the, and the Lord's resources and just the, I, I saw an opportunity, I saw a product that I could actually put my name on without any shame, probably for the first time in my life. So that was why I got involved. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. And let's go to uh, Pastor Marlon Baylor. Uh, Pastor Marlon Baylor, I still remember sitting in your brother's office uh, a few years ago, and that was an experience we both enjoyed. Uh, why don't you share why, why you guys got involved in business and your church got behind it so strongly? Well, what really, what really motivated, and I wasn't there, but at the time we were um, – had a product called the Fresh Owl, and Bishop Baylor was looking for the Fresh Owl, and, and this uh, opportunity was presented to our church. And Chuck actually was in his office and found the, the Fresh Owl for a very cheap price than we were paying for it. So uh, my brother Bishop asked one of our directors to look into this product and see what it was all about. So, And he always talked about, I always wanted to be a kingdom financer. And my brother Bishop Baylor calls in a side hustle. He says something... You need something that the Lord can bless outside of your normal job for the tithes and offering. So I was presented this tool that helps people save money, and you make money. So I said, well, that's a no-brainer. I'm giving something away free, and and they can save money, and I make money. So I really looked into it, um, got on board, and been blessed uh, financially as a pastor ever since then. Oh, that's great. And how do you see, uh, as a pastor, combining business and ministry how, how does that work for you, Pastor Baylor? Well, uh, with, with, with my new role for the past two years as now the pastor, over 1,500 members, you know, pastors don't have a lot of time. But I also always listen to uh, my mentor, Chuck, and this, the tool is very simple. If you can just demo and give one away a day, and you'd be blessed. So I've been following that, that pattern for the past, I would say, two or three months. And the business really exploded. So it's just just take out just take out a little time of the day, you know, make a presentation and just follow through with it and, and it's just been a blessing. That's great. I want to come back to you one more time right now. Um, and then I want to talk to you a little bit more about an example we're gonna use later. But uh, could you share with me your, your favorite one or two product saving stories? I know you got a bunch of them, but could you share those real quickly with us? Yeah, I'll give you one old one and one new one. My, okay, thank uh, you. My old one was uh, for Christmas, my uh, daughter, 15-year-old daughter, and she kept asking me for these Dr. Dre Beep headphones. And, you know, they usually cost about $300, so that was going to be her budget for the whole Christmas, $300. So I said, well, let me check it with the shop in Sherlock. So I actually went out there and found those headphones on the shop in Sherlock for $124. That's like uh, $175 savings. So, of course, I bought them, put them under the Christmas tree, and now I have to text her in order to talk to her because now she's always got those head headphones on. Secondly, um, I went to the Mazda dealer. This is very recent, about two weeks ago, and my back windshield was out for my Mazda tribute. And they were going to charge me thirty nine ninety nine just for the windshield uh, wiper not installed. So I went out to the shop at Sherlock, found the exact uh, windshield wiper, for eleven dollars, so I got my oil changed last week and took it with me, and they installed it for me free. That is excellent. I know every time I'm with you, you've got a new saving story. So you actually use the product and save a lot of money, don't you, sir? Yes, sir. I call it. If I haven't sure locked it, then I won't buy. I won't buy. <laughs> That's great. Let's go over to uh, Chattanooga and Dr. Slack. Have you had any good product saving stories that you could share with us? Yes. Uh, my son's an athlete, and um, his dad is a procrastinator. He brought home a sheet of, um, you know, that, that articulated a piece of uh, equipment that the school wanted us to buy by a certain date. 
and it, I think it costs like um, thirty-seven dollars or something like that. And you know, my son just kept on asking me about it, and then I was going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. And so it was. The deadline had passed, and I didn't want to tell him that I did not get get it done. So I put the the product in the Sherlock, and the product came back at twenty-two dollars, shipping included. So I saved fifteen dollars on it, and and I finally told my son the, the story of what happened. Every time now anything happens that I'll be talking about buying, he says, "Well, Dad, why don't you put it in that thing? Why don't why don't you put it in that thing so so that, so that you can save some money?" So I became my son's hero, saved money in the process. And Dr. Slide, before I go to Pastor Mark Levesque for the uh, demo, uh, it's a little different too when you're when you're marketing this product. It's not like you're trying to get your congregation to buy a lotion, a potion, a pill. There's nothing against uh, those types of businesses, but this is a business where we're actually giving away something absolutely free that's helping people benefit and, in turn, helping your church. Uh, tell us just real quick how you feel about that. I think it's incredible. Everyone um, that I've shared the Sherlock with, everyone to a person, seems to be waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's like this, this is the problem that many of them see is that it's too good to be true. And, um, and so when I talk to them and I say that it is free, that there's nothing else to it, it is free, it is free, it's like they can't believe it. Just last night I had one of my members that was on the phone with me, and uh, we put the, the, the link for the Sherlock on our church website. She was actually doing it. And I had not even talked to her about the Sherlock, and I said, well, you know, just give it a try, check it out. And she called me back, and she's like, "Okay, Pastor, what's what's really up with this?" And I said, "Nothing. It's it's free. That's that's the deal. That's the ticket." She said, "Oh, I, I really can't believe it." And I said, "I know that's really what we're going to have to help people to understand that there are some things that are actually too good to be true, and they're real." And so that's that's the way that I feel about it. And everybody that I've talked to just seems to think. There's got to be more to it than this. It's got to be more difficult than this. And I have to continue to to, uh, to share with them, this is it. There's nothing else, no, no other story to tell. That's awesome. Thank you, Dr. Slack. I uh, appreciate you sharing with us today. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week in Chattanooga as uh, we expand your business by helping people uh, in and outside of your church. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Let's go back to uh, Pastor Mark Levesque. And uh, Pastor Mark, I want you to help me with the product demonstration today. I think what we'll do is I'll go ahead and keep the screen. And uh, why don't you walk me through as though you were doing a demo with me. And uh, we'll show everyone how this incredible product we've been talking about works so well. So I'm on your profile page. Uh, okay. Let's go from here. Well, what we would do is we'd go down and hover over the icon at the bottom of the shopping Sherlock. And then we would type in uh, the product that we're looking for. Uh, the product today is a product that I uh, had to run out and purchase for $80 at Walmart. And um, and so because I waited too long to replace my ink cartridge, and so I felt pretty bad when I went and looked and found it. So let's uh, let's put, type in ink cartridge. And it would be TN450. And then we'd hover over USA for shopping and, and, and click compare. I think if you click on USA, we might have a little bit. We'll click USA and then go to compare. There we go. When you're pulling a lot of system resources, uh, sometimes uh, you got to click on the USA and then click on compare because it doesn't have the, the smarts to do it by itself anymore. It's, on so many system resources. And so, you know, Chuck has a, an app that, that's available uh, with different browsers, which is called One Page, which puts the Sherlock tabs up in the top of your browser. If you don't have that and you don't have to have that, it'll be behind your icon at the bottom. You're, you're, like if you're using Chrome, and I recommend Chrome because it's so much cleaner, it's so, so free from bugs, you, you can hover over it, and then when you hover over it, it will open up all those windows there, and you can hover over it and hover over them and open them and do what we're going to do here. But first of all, let's since Walmart has the perception of being the largest retailer, which 
it is the largest retailer, but they're not the biggest online. Actually, that's Amazon. And they're not going to find the best prices from our experience online. But so we're, right now we're looking at the Walmart page. And we see that there isn't any cartridge that we're looking for right there. It's $44.50. And so that right now, that's the best price that we've found. So let's look at the next site, that's shopping.com. And so shopping.com has uh, a cartridge for $23 on the left, and so with $5 shipping, so $27. So that's our best price so far. We don't want to buy four cartridges or, or more than one or two. So I'm going to close Walmart, and then I'm going to go now look at BizRate and see if they have a better price. A lot of times BizRate has the best price. Um, right now there's 10 sellers with uh, 20 to $68 at TN450. So that's a possibility. So we, we could go, we could dive into that and see if we could find it for $20. But let's, let's keep going. Let's look at um, eBay. Okay, so eBay has two cartridges there for $25.98, $26. And we could buy it right now for that. And so that's $23 for two. So that's uh, $26 for two. So that's $13 a piece. So that's our best price so far. So I'm going to go up and close BizRate and uh, Shopping.com. I'm going to look at a couple of the others just to see if $13 is my best price. So there I have $50 for a new, brand new one um, in a box. $22.99. They don't beat the price. We'll close that. And then we've got search products. Uh, they don't have carry it at this time. So we'll close that. Then we've got um, Deep, uh, deal time, deal time, uh, fifty dollars, twenty nine ninety nine. That's not beating, so we'll close that. And here we've got um, this is Google, and so Google's got twenty seven dollars, twenty two dollars. So even Google didn't didn't beat the thirteen dollars that we found at uh, eBay today. So that. Uh, usually, we beat Google about 90% of the time, in my experience. Uh, here we have one for um, $14.50, which is pretty good on Amazon. It would have beaten Google, but it doesn't uh, beat uh, our best price so far. So let's close that. Uh, let's go. So that's it. So what we found in just a matter of probably a minute and a half, we have found the best price, $13 a cartridge, from eBay today. Uh, on what we're looking for. So I paid eighty dollars at the store. I would have paid um, twenty two dollars through Google. I paid thirteen dollars through eBay today. Fourteen dollars at another one. So we found a pretty good price. And that's been my experience. Whether it's uh, saving five hundred dollars on my laptop or saving four hundred and fifty dollars on a car park, uh, you know, it's um it's amazing what the shopping Sherlock can do for you and for all of us in saving money. Back to you, Chuck. Hey, Mark, that's a big part of our program is helping people save money. It's our mantra, and it's really what has uh, guided us in, in this business. Uh, what would you say your average savings has been uh, throughout the time you've been using the Sherlock on a weekly basis or monthly basis? On a monthly basis, we're probably saving between two and $400 a month. All right, so conservatively, $200 a month. Would you agree? I would agree. Now, can you imagine if your entire congregation was saving $200 a month on stuff they're going to buy anyway, and then you, you ran a campaign where they gave a percentage of that savings to a building fund or a mission fund or something like that? Wouldn't that be a neat idea? That would be awesome. Let's go to one more area where it's really become popular is the daily deals. Uh, are you ready to share that with us, or do you want me to do that? Sure. Why, why don't we look for jewelry there? All right. With Mother's Day approaching, right? That's right. Find a good deal. We can both buy something here. That's right. So this is Blip a Deal. It's a partner of the Shopping Sherlock. And when people use the um, coupon feature from Blip a Deal, it goes through and aggregates the top coupon deals available, whether it's Groupon, Living Social, or some of the other major Groupon deals. Uh, Chuck just found a Diamond Angel pendant for $19.90. It's an $80 retail value. So it's a tremendous uh, tool to find the best coupons on restaurants, on jewelry, on electronics. Uh, you know, you, you, it, it automatically knows where you are, and then when you type in what you're looking for, it will find the coupon in that area. 
And then if you give the shopping Sherlock to someone and they're using it, uh, it creates an affiliate income back to you as the distributor that's using that's now partnered with Blip -a Deal through the Shopping Sherlock. It's a tremendous opportunity to save money and to make money online. Mark, had you ever heard of Deal Chicken before the Shopping Sherlock? <laughs> no, I never heard of it before. And all of a sudden you have companies like Deal Chicken being aggregated and brought to you. So it's in major cities around the world. Uh, just look at some of these incredible values here. Just some great deals on jewelry. Powerful. There's one $200 retail value for $19. Absolutely incredible. $79 for six. And this is just the, the KGB, the Groupon, uh, the Deal Chicken, the Living Social. That's here in St. Louis. You go to the top here, I like to show people this feature. Look at all these categories on the left. We're looking at jewelry, but look at all those categories of savings. And these are available coupons in the St. Louis market. As you can this see, this alone creates a tremendous affiliate opportunity, affiliate income opportunity for the distributor. Absolutely. Thank you for bringing that up. As people buy these deals and benefit, we get paid. It's basically three to ten percent of the price here on these daily deals gets paid to our company in the form of affiliate income. Look at all these cities just throughout the United States. And then you've got all these countries here. All right. So you can use Blip a Deal and, and build your whole network around the world. Mark, I just tuned into my dashboard, and um, if you go down here. This is something Michael Weedo, our CEO, just had it recently. These travel vouchers for three hundred ninety-five dollars, you can get one of these resort trips for an entire week for the whole family. That's powerful. Isn't that powerful? Look at some of these places. I'm British forward to it. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Greece, Mexico, Washington. Yeah, all throughout the world. Australia. Bahamas, Lake Tahoe, just some wonderful places around the world. And when people buy these uh, vouchers for only $395, $60 of that goes to the distributor whose site was being used. So if your church is promoting this as a fundraiser, as people in your church and their family and friends from around the world that sign up for the dashboard through your church's website, $60 of that goes directly to your church. That's a direct pay affiliate program. Now, the other affiliate programs, the major Internet brands, uh, the Groupons, the Living Socials, the Daily Deals we talked about, those affiliate incomes go into a large pool of income in our company, and that's shared with distributors around the world based on the usage of the Sherlock's you've given away. So I'm going to go back to uh, uh, Pastor Baylor for just a minute. Uh, Pastor Baylor, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me, Chuck? Yes, sir, loud and clear. I want to open up this uh, spreadsheet that we used at your church the other night just to, to show people the power of this program. Let me expand make it a little larger here. Uh, but you said you had 1,500 um, members at your church, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's about 1,000 regular attenders on every on a weekend basis, a normal weekend of 1,000. Is that correct? Uh, out, of, out, of, out of 1,500, 1,000 is adults. Or well, 1,000 adults. Okay, excellent. So let's say we've got 1,000 adults, and in this example, I've got the uh, average affiliate usage income at $0.25 cents a month for each Sherlock dashboard you give away. Uh, I don't know of anyone who's it's that low. It's all based on actual usage, so each distributor, each church might be a little different because it's actually based on actual usage. So in my example, uh, last month I was at about $0.45 cents for every Sherlock I had given away. Uh, I know the top person in the company was right at a dollar for every Sherlock he or she had given away. So it really varies, uh, and it's all based on the usage of the Sherlocks you give away and how many you give away. Um, I know Michael Weider's goal by the end of 2013 is to get us to $2 on average, and that's one of the reasons he added the, 
the daily deals. That's one of the reasons he had the travel vouchers. He's continually searching and looking for ways to increase the back-end income for us as distributors as we give these away. So I've got a very minimal amount here at 25 cents. I've got a 1,000 of your members giving away an average of just one Sherlock a month. Now, that's extremely conservative, but if that were the case, look at this over the course of a year, your church would raise $22,500 in additional funds, all the while helping people save time and money and stuff they're going to buy anyway. So, Pastor Baylor, what do you think is a reasonable number of people out of the, out of the adults in your church that would be willing to help us to raise money for the major project you've got going at your church? Do you think it would be a thousand or five hundred? What what number do you think is reasonable? Well, because we're real serious about this uh, project that we're under, we're expanding the church. I would say we, I know we can at least get a half. I would say five hundred. All right, so let's take five hundred here. Yeah, a and let's be a little more realistic here with the number. I've got a very conservative twenty-five cents. Let's say fifty cents, which is about where the average is now. A goal is two dollars eventually, but at five hundred people helping with a uh, fundraiser. Just give it away one per month, you're looking at $22,500 over the course of an entire year. Now, that assumes the first month they all give themselves the dashboard, and then each month they give away one. Let's ask the next question, Pastor Baylor. If people got serious about this and want to raise money for this project, which is a very worthwhile project, by the way, how many of these dashboards do you think they can give away on a monthly basis, on average, over the course of a year? Wow. Per person, probably, I would say monthly at least five. All right, let's put five on our calculator here. Okay, that's awesome. So if we have 500 members to give away five of these free Sherlock's per month, helping people save time and money, you would be earning, at, by the end of that year, $15,000 monthly residual at that point. But over the course of that first year, you would have accumulated one hundred and five, one hundred thousand five hundred dollars. That's amazing, isn't it? It's unbelievable. <laughs> for giving something away for free, giving something away for free, helping people save time, and money, and we benefit. Now, the far right-hand column, that twenty percent override, that's the amount of income that the person who sells the um, actual system to the church earns. It's a twenty percent check match. So, as you can see, the person who would have uh, helped you with this purchase over the course of the year would have made twenty thousand dollars by helping you raise a hundred thousand mm. dollars. So that's one of the ways of earning income through this program. Now this doesn't even include the um, sixty dollars for every person who buys one of the vouchers from any of your members. I want to show you something really neat here. Watch what happens when we get our affiliate income up to a dollar. Well obviously those same numbers produce two hundred thousand in money raised. What happens when we achieve the minimum goal this year that our uh, CEO, Michael Weider, has? At $2 per Sherlock, 500 people in your church participating, giving away five dashboards a month, helping people save time and money, you would have raised $400,000 towards your project. That, my friends, is exciting. Let me go back and show you one more thing about this incredible product, too. See this over here? Friends, don't let friends pay retail. One of your members shares this with a family member anywhere in the world. That person, who's not even part of your church, clicks on here, and they start sharing this with their friends and family, people they know at work, to help them save time and money. And all of a sudden, your fundraiser has gone viral. You're not going to do that with car washes and candy and other things. This is a digital product that can literally go around the world, people saving time and money, raising money for kingdom projects. That is exciting. Pastor Marlon, any final words you'd like to share as we wrap up our webinar today? Yeah, I just would like the, the pastors to know that when we deal with the Shop at Sherlock, basically we treat the Shop at Sherlock as a ministry in our church, bringing extra income outside of the tithe and offering. Just like the men's and women's ministry, the youth ministry, we have a uh, MLL ministry, the multi-level marketing ministry, which is the Shop at Sherlock. Our youth ministry, our daycare, use it as fundraising, as a fundraising ministry. Just like uh, we have a director over the youth ministry, the men's and women's ministry, we have a director whose job is to focus on this ministry, 
just like our other directors of our other ministries, our women ministry, the men's ministry. I'm a big part of the ministry as the pastor that we meet every Wednesday from 6 to 7 o'clock for our choir members because our choir rehearsal is at 7 o'clock and then from 7 to 8 o'clock every Wednesday, just like our prayer meeting, corporate prayer meetings on Tuesdays at 7.30, our corporate Bible class is on Thursdays at 7.30. This, we treat this as a ministry, so every Wednesday from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, there's somebody in our MLL MLM ministry that's focusing on bringing this revenue to the uh, congregation. So we also use it, you know, as a part-time job for some of the members who are struggling to find a job, and we try to plug them into the shop at Sherlock because we've been very successful with it. So to the pastors, if you just treat it as the ministry and be serious about it, you can bring revenue to your uh, church and your ministry. Thank you very much. Appreciate you sharing with us today, Pastor Baylor. Always a joy, and I'll see you tonight uh, at your church. I want to go to uh, Pastor Rosario Slack in Chattanooga. And Pastor Slack, if you could just, uh, any final thoughts you had you'd like to share with the other pastors? Yes, the one thing that I want to say about the Sherlock is that it provides freedom in so many different ways. One of the things that was a concern of mine as I in, in, even envisioned doing something business-wise was my reputation, and I, I don't take that lightly. Integrity is a big deal for me, and what I have found in the company, the people in the company, and Chuck and, and Mark and, and, and Michael Weeder and, and just all the people that I've met, is incredible integrity. So for the pastors that are listening, I know that that's a very big deal for, for most of us. And that you, I just wanted to say that it's a company that you can trust, a company that you can really rest assured is very sensitive to the issues that we are facing as we as we try to you know preach about the kingdom and the things that, that God has given us to do. You can really relax and be comfortable that Many of the people that are involved know exactly what that feels like, and so they would not do anything to compromise our integrity. That's what I love about the, the shopping Sherlock. Thank you, Dr. Slagan. I'll see you next week in Chattanooga. I appreciate you sharing today. Look forward to it. Pastor Mark Levesque, any final thoughts? Sure, Chuck. I really appreciate the comments by yourself and the other pastors. Very, um, It really resonated with me. I would I'd like to say that, you know, since we're still in the midst of, of the Great Recession and the people who have lost their homes, uh, on the average, they could have, 80% of them could have saved their homes if they had just $300 more a month in income. They could have stayed in their homes. And so for me, I just see benefiting families across the United States and around the world by helping them save two, $300 a month on what they're purchasing anyway and, and making uh, an, an income through the Internet uh, so that they can keep it stay in their homes and so that they can raise the standard of living for their families. And so I just see that as a mission, and I see the Shopping Sherlock is the best avenue to accomplishing that mission. Thank you, Chuck. Well, thank you. And as we close up here, Michael Weeder is the CEO of our company, and his goal is to help Shopping Sherlock become the category leader in the Internet home-based business space by creating the largest home-based Internet business opportunity in the world. His mission is to make Shopping Sherlock the definitive place to go and find and purchase the best deals on products and services worldwide, both on the Internet and our mobile devices. He's positioned the Shopping Sherlock to provide tremendous value and opportunities for distributors, organizations, and customers alike. In summary, Michael Weider loves the technology space, and he knows where things are going in the technology Internet space, and therefore he's been able to position the Sherlock in front of those trends. Now, in today's webinar, we didn't spend a whole lot of time talking about the team building side of our business, but this is a network marketing company, and that's how we distribute the product through our distributors. And so there's another whole side of the business, which is the team building side. And these three pastors have chosen to participate in that side of our business by sharing this opportunity in addition to sharing the product. And there are other webinars we can learn more about that side of the business if that is of interest to you. Just know it's available to you. So with that, I want to thank each and every person listening to this webinar, whether it be live or a recording. Thank you, and we hope to meet you sometime in person. God bless you. Goodbye.